Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Miss Halima. I am the dance teacher, dance instructor here at Elmhurst. This is my first year here, and I can tell you it has been a wonderful journey. We've danced, we've talked, we've shared, we've learned, and we continue to stand in our power. Now, in this phase of dance where the school year is winding down, um, our dance students have been able to learn the different aspects of movement through cultural dance, modern dance, and all styles of dance, as well as the history of where those dances come from, the language, the foods, and the mental, spiritual, and physical nutrition that we need in order to move our bodies. So today's project, or the project itself, is focusing on our students reflecting on these moments of learning how to move their bodies, how to continue to stand in our power, and how to really internalize dance on a different level. So they will be sharing their thoughts, ideas, and maybe teaching us a little bit about what they learned this year in dance. Stay tuned. What would you tell a new dancer if she came into this dance studio next year? I would tell a new dancer that you would need to bring a lot of water because dance does get really tiring and if you don't bring water, well, that's the end. And I would also tell them that you should always look to the teacher because the teacher is mostly always right. Hi, my name is Marilyn. I'm 12 years old and I'm in sixth grade. Something that dance impacted my life was that that I learned new dances that I never did before and learned about different countries. And a device for a future dancer is to be confident and to listen to the teacher. And um, my advice for new 
students that come to this dance class is that stand in their power, be themselves, and don't be shy to show yourself. Hi, my name is Kalani. I'm 14 years old and I'm in the 7th grade. And dance is something I, I didn't think I was going to do in life, but I really like it. And if a new student walked in, I wouldn't say nothing. Okay. That's it. Good morning. It's about what, 8 20 in the morning here on a Tuesday, May 2nd. And um, just got in the studio trying to get the class ready for the day. Uh, there's a lot going on. We're at the end stretch of our year. Um, they're getting ready for their fifth, fifth assessment uh, for the year. This will be their last assessment where I um, evaluate their knowledge of um, history and culture, nutrition uh, through a quiz, a written quiz, as well as through um, physical movement uh, where all the dances we have been um, studying for the whole year, um, they have to demonstrate that. Um, each class is a little different. Um, so I'm just really excited to see what the students are bringing to the table. If the information that I have taught them, if they have internalized it, and um, we'll express that for this last assessment. You know, um, I am actually getting ready to do a mediation with one student. This is my second mediation this year. So I want to share that to let you know that all is not perfect. You know, there's issues that happen throughout the year um, where mediations are very essential to um, restoring um, student-teacher relationships when things are misunderstood, things happen, things are said. And, you know, the goal is to repair it, right? So um, I am interested to do this mediation and hope that we can come to a, a mutual agreement on the respect level that needs to happen in this class and understand the student's perspective as well because they all have a voice. And yeah, so I just wanted to chime in here and stay tuned. Es un mano, mi compadre se la creó, que 
I am 14 years old and I am in 8th grade. Dance has impacted my life in a positive way by teaching me how to be confident and standing in my own. The advice I would give to new students that are coming in is that to be yourself and stand in your own. Hi, my name is Diana. And my name is Patty. I'm 13 years old. And I'm 14 years old. And we're both in 7th grade. grade. Uh, dance has impacted my life in a positive way um, because it's like my happy place. And to me, dance has impacted my life through a positive way by expressing my feelings through the dance we do. And we love dance. And the advice I would give you is be confident and just try to enjoy yeah. and and advice I can give to you is that uh, try your best and not giving up even if you're in a difficult moment of your life four five six seven eight two two three four five six seven eight three two three four Five, six, seven, eight, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Samba one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, two, three, four. Hi, my name is Emily. And I'm 13 years old in seventh grade. And how has dance impacted me? It made me kind of like learn different cultures in dance like that I never knew of. And I really like the cultures of dance and I really want to learn more of it in the future. And what tips I want to give you guys is that don't push yourself in a bad way like, and just keep yourself out there. Like, yeah. <laughs> get on the teacher's nerves and that you should be nice and generous.